Hi everyone, welcome back to another Logman video. So this week uh, it's going to be a little bit different. I'm going to show you something that I've been wanting to buy for a while. I've finally gone and done it and I'm going to try and talk you through the reasons behind it and also um, how it can really benefit us here in the yard. So our yard here is split up into two sections really. We've got the top yard where all the production happens. In an ideal world all our timber is stored up there because that's where it gets used, that's where it gets processed but we don't have enough room up there. So our overflow if you will is this bottom yard where I am now. So at any one point there's probably anywhere between four and five hundred ton of timber down in this bottom yard. The other issue we had is for years now we've only had one excavator or digger with a with a, a timber grab on it so when the machine had to come down here to load up uh, timber in the bottom yard it meant that it wasn't loading the process up in the top yard so then process up there had to stop whilst the machine was down here and it just caused delays and meant that we weren't getting the maximum out of our machines it also meant we had to have a timber trailer and for years now as you can see behind me this was or is even still our timber trailer so this is a, a trailer that I built myself. It was originally a low loader. Let me turn the camera around so you can see it properly. So this for years was our only way of transporting timber around the yard. It started out as life as a low loader and I converted it by just welding some bars to the side of it to make it into a timber trailer. So it served a purpose really well. Um, it allowed us to carry two bays of timber on it. But as you can see, it's getting older. Um, it's looking a bit tatty. We also had to load it with our machine as well. So we had to have a tractor on the front to pull it, which was fine, we have a tractor, but it meant we had two machines, one to pull it around and the other to load it. It was also getting to the stage where it started to need a bit of money spending on it. So as you can sort of see here, one of the rims is starting to get a bit damaged, it's not holding air right. Some of the cross members are starting to fall off or get damaged, they need a replacing. And it was just getting to the point where we need to spend a little bit of money on it. I've gone and done something that I've been wanting to do for a number of years now. I've never been able to really justify it properly. This one came available. It was the right money. It was from a, a company we worked really closely with, so we knew what we were buying. We knew we've, it's been in our yard hundreds of times before. So it arrived in our yard two or three days ago. We've already been using it. It's already been in its money. Uh, and that is our brand new timber wagon. So behind us here, I'll spin the camera around so you can properly see it in a minute but it is a basically an MOT failure. So you can't go back on the road, but it's ideal for us in the yard. So this is a 2013 uh, DAF. It used to belong to one of our main firewood suppliers, uh, DS Norman. We've seen this wagon a lot in, the, in our yard over the years. We took it off the road a few months ago. Um, it has an issue with the gearbox. Now it works perfectly when it's in the lower gears, so it's absolutely fine for our yard. The crane itself, although it looks like it's had a life, it works perfectly well. The main thing is, it means that we don't have to use a tractor, we don't have to use the trailer, and we don't have to use the uh, excavator that we currently use to load timber with up in our top yard when we're moving timber around in the bottom yard. So it just allows us to maximise our processes, use our digger for loading those and use our timber wagon here for loading timber out the bottom yard and bringing it up to the top. So what I want to do now is I want to jump up, I'm going to load it up, we need some wood bringing up anyway, I'm going to attach my GoPro to it to show you guys it in action. Now I'm by no means an expert on this yet, it's something that's new to us, it's taken a bit of getting used to but it's really coming into its own in our yard. So I've just jumped up onto the seat. It's a few days after I've shot this first part of the video. I got busy with one thing or another. But we've got some timber to move today. I've got this timber that's currently on the wagon to tip off. And then we're going to load up with chip wood. We're going to take it up to the top yard and I'm going to show you a little bit of putting it through the chipper. Now I'm not going to show you too much of that at the moment because I'm going to do a special video on our biomass chipping. But I'm just going to show you a little bit of it of how we use this timber wagon to do our chipping here in the yard.
So thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps us. It's going really well so far. I've had a really good response to these videos. Uh, I'm going to keep making them. I'm going to keep showing you different parts of the process. But please like, please subscribe, and keep watching this channel for more updates from the Logman.